assalamu alaikum thank you sheik for a very thought provoking talk the question is is it necessary for a dai of islam to know all the possible ideologies philosophies that exist in the world today or are the arguments explanations and reasonings given in the quran enough for him to preach to anyone under the sun uh, of course it is not uh, necessary for everyone this at most this is fardi kifaya uh, if some of us do this that will be enough and it is almost impossible for everyone to do this and uh, for some people it is even not good uh, yeah. i know some people who got so immersed um, in these uh, non-islamic philosophies and ideologies and religions and so on that uh, their knowledge of uh, islam uh, started to diminish and they don't find time to read the uh, Quran and Tafsir and so on. So you will, uh, and that defeats the purpose because if you study these ideologies and religions so as to explain the truth to them and to force their hoods, their falsehoods, then you must study the Quran first. And this is what uh, uh, great uh, ulama uh, of Islam did like Ibn Taymiyyah, Al-Ghazali and so on. Al-Ghazali when he replied to the philosophers it was said that uh, he killed philosophy <laughs> at that time. So I don't think it is necessary but it is necessary for some of us to do this and it might be also necessary to study the ideologies or so the non-Islamic of the people around you. You don't, for example, you don't need now, if you are here in Bombay, to study communism. I don't know why one should study communism now or go into details of um, any other religion. Perhaps it would be better to study the religions that uh, are prevalent in your area.